Kexan is a proud sponsor of the Austin Marathon. On Sunday, runners will lace up their shoes and take over the city streets. And our Chris Tavares shows us the shoes you choose to wear could make all the difference. We are joined by Ryan Hess, owner of The Loop, a, a running store here in downtown Austin. Thanks so much for, for joining us. We're talking about the marathon and the importance of shoes. Why is it important to find the right shoe for yourself when you're going to be running 26.2 miles? Well, when you're running 26.2 miles, uh, the last thing you want to think about is you know, improper footwear or, or your feet hurting in the middle of the race. Um, the shoes can be your biggest asset or it can be your biggest downfall. Uh, By no means is it rocket science. Yeah. I won't even tout that, but it is a science, and it is making sure we sync up the right types of shoes with the right type of feet that we're looking at. So. Now, we've got three different shoes here. Now, these, these are three different types of shoes. These look like more like racers, and then these look more like trainers. You got it, exactly. What are the, what's the difference between a racer and a trainer? The benefit to this shoe is it's super light, as you can see, as you, as you carry it. I mean, it's ounces. Yeah. It's got a full-length carbon plate in it, and it's still got cushioning. So it's designed to kind of get you in the perfect formation when you're running a marathon and you can keep towing off perfectly. I mean, this guy was averaging 440 a mile for 26 miles in this shoe. That's flying. But this shoe is not meant to run in every day. Because it's so light, because it only lasts 250 miles, you want to go with something like the Brooks Ghost. That is a very durable shoe, cushion shoe. Not the lightest shoe by any means. It's mm -hmm. definitely heavy. Um, wouldn't be anything you'd probably want to do a marathon in unless you really weren't worried about time or pace or anything like that. But just this is a ground and pound shoe. This is our number one selling shoe, actually. Uh, this shoe just gets the job done. No, say, say I do have a, a good racing shoe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would I want to wear that shoe when I'm going out with my friends on the weekend? Or do you want to save that for, for actual race day? You want to try to save that for race day. And the reason for that is it's kind of like mileage on tires for a car. Um, the more you wear the shoe around, it's still going to be miles to the shoe. And the shoe only has a allotted amount of life mm -hmm. through mileage. So if you're just wearing them around town, that's still miles on it. So the shoe's going to break down quicker. Where if you only wore them for running, then you're going to get a lot more life out of the shoe. Running a marathon is far more than just waking up on Sunday morning and, and going 26.2 miles. you got to have proper health, proper nutrition, proper shoes as well. You're exactly right. Ryan, thank you so much thank for joining so us. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it.